Good afternoon and welcome to Ned's Adventures. Where are we at today, Val? We are at Salt Fork State Park. We're going to stay for two nights at Salt Fork State Park Lodge, uh, one of the Ohio State Park Lodges. It is East Ohio. It's like Cambridge, if you're familiar with that. East of Columbus, I should say. Um, we are here. It is beautiful. We are in nature. We always joke about, I don't do nature. We are in nature today, folks. Um, driving in beautiful forest. We passed, there's a marina. There's mini golf. There's a golf course. Lots of things to do here by the lodge. There's a basketball court. Um, there's an outdoor pool. There's an indoor pool. What else? There's a gift shop. We'll go in and check out the like check-in area maybe and we'll show you our room. We've already checked in and dropped our stuff off in our room. So we'll look at that. There's a restaurant somewhere. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to go explore. All right, let's go. I already forgot to mention there's trails here as well and a lot of them. Yep, it's true. So Valerie, we all want to know since we're in nature, do you want to go on a nature trail? I mean, it is tick season, as they told us at the wilds this morning. Not so sure I want to go out in the woods, but maybe. Valerie is definitely a city girl. <laughs> I'm more the nature type. Okay, I can appreciate nature. I love the Grand Canyon. I don't need to hike the Grand Canyon. I can stand there and appreciate its beauty from a distance. Short plug, if you haven't seen our Grand Canyon video, be sure and scroll back a few. It's a good one. And while you're at it, you might as well just subscribe to the channel. They do have quite a few picnic tables around. Of course, it is a state park. I guess they should. Now we're getting ready to walk in the lobby, which is actually on the third level. Okay, learn from our mistakes already. When you park, you're going to think you want to go in this nice big entrance don't do it that's going to take you to the fourth floor there's nothing on the fourth floor the lobby check-in is on the third floor so go down this way I'm walking into the lobby area now it's check-in time so there's going to be quite a few people in here checking in but straight to your right is the check-in area if you continue down the hallway you'll see that they have a gift shop on your left Val and I is going to go in and check some things out. See if she buys anything. So, for whatever reason, their thing is Bigfoot Sasquatch. Um, they actually have like a weekend convention in early May where you're like looking for Bigfoot. So a lot of their merch has Bigfoot on it. Stickers if you're a sticker person. Yeah, lots, of, lots of different sizes, shapes. Lots of cute stickers. Anybody for a mug? They got them here in the gift shop. This one's cute. It shows all the Ohio Park Lodges. We are at Salt Fork. I've looked at Punderson. It looks really nice. And Shawnee, I heard a guy talking about, is new and very nice. I messed that up. Hocking Hills Lodge is the brand new nice one. So just beyond the gift shop, there is. Yeah, we're in this. We're still on the third level, but there's lots of little like nooks. Like there's a couple guys over there reading and chatting. There's some little scenery behind me. It's kind of, it's almost like Lorna's Lodge. I keep bringing it back to Disney, but it's kind of that feel, that like cozy wood everywhere kind of feel. At least they know it's confusing. These signs are everywhere. Like, you're on the third floor, that way for check-in, elevator, stairs, second floor. It's very confusing. So they have a restaurant over here on the second floor. Yep, it's called the Timbers Restaurant. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner, look like normal eggs, omelets, french toast for breakfast, and they had, they had burgers, steak, pizzas, pasta, salads, a lot of stuff for lunch and dinner. Take a quick peek at the restaurant here. So across from the restaurant, we have the Wildlife Lounge. It's basically a bar. They may have some snacks, but it's a bar. 
Take a quick peek in. So we've been using the stairs as we've been showing you the different things, but when you come in with your luggage, there are two elevators, one's to the right of the check-in, one's to the left. If you're on the first floor like us, go to the one on the left. Yeah, so when you walk in the lobby, the check-in area will be to your right. So you wanna go straight left to get on this elevator and go down and we'll show you what makes it so confusing. So when you get on the elevator, you see level three, two, LL and PL. There's not a one. There is not a one. So, if your room is on level one, press the LL and we'll show you what to do from there. So we're off the elevator. You're in like this cement wall basement. So we were like, this can't be right. Well, let, us, <laughs> let us walk you through it so you're not so confused. Like we were when we showed up. Go down, straight down the hallway. You'll see the Place where you can go to the outdoor pool which is right here and then you continue on kind of to your left and then that's where you can get to your rooms on level one very very confusing if you're walking down the hallway and go to your right you will see an arcade room to show you a quick glimpse of that as well While Ed was filming the game room, I found this cool map that shows you how big this place is. There's 75 miles of shoreline. We are here in the lodge. So we pass the golf course and the marina. There's also whatever Hossack's cave is. There's a beach you can go to. Here's the marina if you have a boat. I think you can rent pontoon boats too. Yeah, pontoon rentals, kayak rentals, pontoon tours golf course there's all kinds of things to do here pretty cool so we're out here by the outdoor pool you can probably see you're here behind me i made ed come out here just so we can get a shot of the back of the lodge it's really pretty so behind the pool they also have looks like shuffleboard volleyball court and tennis courts there is the shuffleboard volleyball and way down yonder is the tennis courts now for a tour of our room come on in we literally just got here and dropped our stuff so you're gonna see it when we see it behind me is some hanging space it's nice we'll use a few of those iron ironing board not using that turning around we're gonna go to the bathroom Valerie saw some things she liked in here. Mainly the hand soap and lotion, salt fork lotion and hand soap. And then your shower. Valerie was saying it was built in 1970. You can tell by looking at the shower head. And she also likes the amenities in the shower. Salt fork shampoo, conditioner and bath soap back out into the main room they have this sink area for you with a mirror nice for someone to like do their makeup or fix their hair or something with someone else in the shower I'm turning around the kitchen area <laughs> we've coffee pot i guess like curing kind of thing microwave and a mini fridge pretty good size mini fridge other way oh there you go yeah it's a big fridge nice we did bring our own water so we need it <laughs> Here's the bed, which is king size. They also have two queens, but we went with the king. And you got your lamp, clock, drawer over here. You got you a, a nice TV, another mirror. Lots of mirrors. A lot in of this mirrors, room. yeah. I like that. You're gonna see yourself here. Here over here. Plenty of space for all your clothes. Another drawer. Lamp, phone, and a nice desk. desk. Maybe I'll do some editing tonight. The lamps do have like plugs in them. I don't okay. see no USB, just a regular plug. Hmm. And your air conditioner over there. 
and then another chair for you and then a porch we don't have much of a view but we'll take you out here anyway i see water it's technically a water view true we are on the first floor we see a lot of nature which it should be because it is a state park there's some water through the trees that does it for a room tour so it is the next morning mm -hmm. what do you think of our stay here babe so <laughs> it is a state park lodge uh -huh. we've never stayed at a state park lodge right. before um so it's a little more rustic than we're used to um the lodge opened in 1972 mm -hmm. i was doing some googling last night and you can tell like right. there's some older finishes in the room the bathroom is not great although the shower was better than we expected uh -huh. i will say that um, but overall, the area is beautiful. Uh -huh. There's so many activities. Um, we kind of drove around off camera last night to check out some stuff. There's cabins you can rent. So it's a beautiful area and there are people that love it, I'm sure. And they're the ones doing all those outdoor activities. We're using it more as a hotel, uh -huh. which isn't really what it's for. Um, you, you, you bringing that up, how'd you sleep? Oh, excellent. The bed is super comfy. Yeah, yep. good point. Um, for whatever reason, the bed is amazing. Uh -huh. um, we had dinner at Timbers last night and it was good. Yep. Uh -huh. um, they also have like pizza you can get. We're going to have breakfast there this morning. Uh -huh. Yeah, overall very nice. It was a rough start, just the confusion of trying to find our room and uh -huh. the front desk wasn't super helpful. Um, but honestly, after that, our stay, our stay was pretty good. Uh -huh. They also give you this little, this little rewards card where if you stay if you stay 10 nights at an Ohio State Park, you get either a free night or $100. So even though, you know, we're not State Park Lodge people, we might be because I love a good rewards card. <laughs> right. And as always, thanks for watching our videos and we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye.